What's going on guys, Tyler Jacobs here, back with another video and today we're going to be going over how to get the Ebony Blade. Let's get right into how to get this amazing sword, roll the intro. Alright guys, so the Ebony Blade, now it does 23 damage per hit, weighs 46 pounds, has a base value of 6,512 gold septums, but its enchantments are killer. It has absorb health for 8 points on target, silence for 10 points, but victims do not treat attacks from this weapon as an assault, but witnesses do, so keep an eye out for praying eyes. Now before we go on to actually how to find the weapon, I just want to thank everyone who subscribed. I'm almost at 200 subscribers, I put so much effort into these videos and I want to thank everyone who's responded in any way possible. Some of the videos that I have, they've had such amazing responses with likes and comments and it means so much to me, I just want to thank everyone who's contributed at all. Now enough of me rambling on about YouTube, let's get right back into how to get the Ebony Blade. Alright guys, so you want to go to Mephala's Shrine, now it's really easy to find, it's just northeast of the Imperial City west of Shaden Hall and completely just straight northeast of Roxy Inn, super easy to find. Once here you want to wait until it's between any time between midnight and dawn and then go to the altar and offer Nightshade. Once you've done that she's going to start talking to you and she's going to explain to you the quest that we're going to be completing. Once she's finished talking to you you'll get a quest update and it's going to want you to go to Bleaker's Way. Super easy to find, it will be marked on your map. Once here, you want to talk to any of the citizens and just ask them about bleakers. Once that's done, you want to go find Niven Dalavu's house and enter. Once inside, just go straight, turn right and you'll see a ceremonial dagger on the table. Take it and you'll get a quest update. Once back outside, just turn right and then left and head straight down the path to you see Harol Ulfgar's house. Head inside and turn left, go up the stairs through the doorway, turn right again, and then at left, at the bottom of the stairs, you will see the Ulfgar family ring. Steal it, and you'll get a quest update. You want to head back outside and just wait until midnight, or dusk, once again. And you want to find Mr. Ulfgar and kill him. Once you've killed him, you want to wait for the quest update, that's important. And then plant the ceremonial dagger on his body, you'll get another update. Then go to Mr. Davalu and kill him as well. Wait for the update once more and then plan the ring on him. It's, up, it's important that you wait until you get the update otherwise it won't work. Then wait until morning once more. Once there find any citizen and just tell them that the two heads of the clans attacked each other. Once that's done you can just head outside and you can watch the chaos unfold as the Nords attacked the drummer. Once the battle is over you just want to return to the shrine and you want to go talk to Mephala again. She'll just explain to you that you've done a great job, and after that, you'll get the completed quest update. Then you will receive the Ebony Blade as a reward. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like or a comment. Reading the comments is one of the best part about making videos. If you want to see more videos, click the subscribe button. I try my best to put out. I try my best to put out videos every Monday. I hope you all have a great day. I'm Tyler Jacobs signing off. Bless Paku.